Hey guys, what's going on? This is Clay, and today we're doing some four cable method with the Pod HD 500. I just wanted to show you how it works and what the advantages are. So, um, first of all, why would you ever do this? So, the biggest thing is if you have a tube amp that has an effects loop, send and return, then this is awesome because it allows you to use the 500 because you have so many effects, and some of them you want to have post the preamp, like your delays and your reverbs. Um, you know, and then you can keep your boosts and your overdrives and your fuzzes in front. Also, um, this allows you to select whether you want to use your amps preamp or if you want to use the HD500 preamps. Um, you know, so for some presets, if you want to keep your amp, that's great, but if you want to use something totally different, you can do that as well. So it just provides a ton of versatility. Um, it's just, it's a great way to go. So, how do you hook it up? So you start with your guitar. And that goes into the guitar end of the HD500. Now the goal here with your patch is to set it up so that you're using your HD500's effects loop to include the preamp from your 2 amp. So once you go guitar in, your next is going to be your effects send. This is going into the front of your amp. Then your effects return comes from your amps send. So let's review. Guitar to HD500. Effects send to the front of your amp. Then from the send of your amp, you come back to the FX return of the HD500. And then your quarter inch out goes to your power amp through the return. So when you set this up, basically your guitar is going into the HD500 and the HD500 is kicking everything back out to the power amp section of your tube amp. And then in between, you're able to include the preamp of your amp in the effects loop, which is going sending into the front and it's returning from the uh, send, so which, which is at the end of the preamp before the power amp. So then when you're setting up your patch, you can set up everything normally. I don't know if this is going to even come up. You can set up everything normally, but as you can see right here, I don't have an amp selected. I have amp disabled. Then this is the effects loop. And you're going to want to play around with your send. So I have my return level bumped up a little bit. You're going to want to play around with your send return and also with your um, mixer here just to make sure that you get the right levels. Um, but yeah, as long as you have the effects here, kind of, so this effects is kind of in the same general area as the amp, so that, you know, it basically, everything in front of the effects loop, so I've got a boost, I've got a distortion, I've got an octaver, those are all coming in front, and then here I have two delays and a reverb, those are coming after. So it's just as if, so basically this effects loop is uh, serving the same purpose as your amp. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set it up here. I'm using my Warmoth Tele. Um, I'm going to just show some sounds dry with no effects, just how the amp would sound. And then I'm going to use um, a boost, which is the tube comp. And I'm going to use an overdrive, which is the tube driver. And I'm also going to use a reverb, which is the 63 spring. And then the uh, two delays, analog with mod. So a deluxe memory man with a ton of modulation and then a digital lay set to kind of a dotted eighth U2 style. So, um, hope you enjoy the demo. It's coming up next.